and the quest continues to complete my Spin Fighter collection. Finishing the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers line, which is the biggest Spin Fighters line in the United States. Gonna get to the Series 3 that I never had uh, as a kid, so I'm only completing my collection now. And that is with these, the Turbo Launchers. Had these uh, bigger, bigger and different launchers, and uh, these were the Series 3 of that line. And they do come with a Spin Fighter that's exclusive to this packaging. There's the Thunder Stadium that have not added to my collection yet. I'm not sure if I'll do the stadiums, but right now we're just focused on getting all the Spin Fighters of the series. So we had White Ranger there, the Pink Rangers, Again, this is a matching launcher and spin fighter that's just the power coin designs. Had the Black Rangers and the Blue Rangers. And that was the four. That's the only, that's the entirety of series three of spin fighters and the final series as well. There weren't any after this. They only added the, these couple power coin ones. Uh, not even a full ranger set. There's no red ranger, no yellow ranger launchers. Just these. And so this is supposed to be a turbo launcher, the most powerful launcher ever. Supposedly stronger than the original little launcher. We'll test that out later here. So of course these are from the Bandai company. Uh, same company that made all the toys, like the figures, the zords, and then even the roleplay style toys like, say, the Morpher. And so then of course it did come with the power coins. You can see there's the pterodactyl. Uh, it's actually a different mold. It's just kind of colored in. It's a little bit different shape, but obviously they're supposed to be the same power coin things. And I just wanted to point out kind of the weirdness with the White Ranger's White Tiger. But this is the power coin that the, uh, the Zord and figure came with that you could then match with your uh, Morpher you would get. The Morpher just came with the original five Rangers. Uh, if you wanted the Green Ranger coin, you had to get the Re Green Ranger Zord and figure. If you wanted the White Ranger's coin, you had to get the White Ranger's Zord and figure. But it, of course, locked right in there. Uh, it was just kind of weird that the toy design had this tiger design, and same with the launcher here that you can see. Uh, because on the TV show, uh, his power coin was a different symbol. It'd be the same symbol on his Saba sword, his weapon. This is what his power coin really looked like when they showed it. So I'm not sure why they didn't just go with that design. This is just the design that's on his chest of his ranger costume. The reason for the weirdness with the coin design, I would imagine, is because the White Ranger costume and design and footage is from a whole nother Super Sentai series. So he didn't even have this morpher. He didn't have a power coin to morph into that costume. Uh, it's just footage pulled straight from another show. So you can even see in his costume that he does not have a morpher on his belt like the original rangers do. Just has a different kind of belt, so... It's just funny that if they did show the coin in the show, it was that design, and but here on the products and things, and even the Spin Fighter itself, you've got the weird tiger design. I'm not sure where that... It seems to be clearly invented for the toys, because it was not on the show, as far as I would know. So I got these four in the packaging, and my god, this packaging is like perfectly preserved. It's like, I really do not want to open them for the collection as far as uh, this set, but I was able to get all four, so I have all four for my collection. But I do have these extras of the white and pink, so the quest will be if we can find the black and blue to open. So what we'll do, we'll open the, at least we'll open a white ranger so we can check it out. We will open the White Ranger one. I have extra. I mean, it's got a tear and stuff on it anyway, and I need one to open to check out anyway. Let's open the White Ranger so we can check out the actual launcher and everything like that. Uh, in a lot, I did acquire a Spin Fighter of the Pink Rangers one, and the designs are kind of lame. It's just, I mean, they're all sticker appliques, but this is, the Series 3 is just kind of the artwork of the Power Coin kind of dinosaur that was on there. Just kind of representing the ranger and the, the old zord, even though by then, by this time in the show, you know, you have the white ranger, he had the, the white tiger zord, so, I mean, the rangers weren't even using pterodactyl and mastodon and triceratops anymore. They had, would have went on to uh, their thunder zord, so he would have had a unicorn, a lion, and, and the firebird, so I guess their power coins and their costume, they always just kept the same design of the older 
Zords, but mostly because that footage was just, they only had these Zords and links to these animals, these dinos. And the reason they could bring in the White Rangers, because the ranger show that that costume is from, had the Thunder Zords that they got in the next season, so it's just kind of always weird. That's why you always saw the weird animation where they would transform their Dino Zords into the Thunder Zords, and it was always really weird and took forever. Craziness, I tell you. So by gosh, we're going to open up a Turbo Launcher from Series 3, the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Spin Fighters. Oh yes, we open. So here we just have the Spin Fighter, which again, it's just pretty flat design, doesn't even have the kind of prismatic printing on it that the other, other Spin Fighters do. It's just a pretty flat design. And as far as the White Tiger one goes, it's not even really the design from the show. So it's kind of weird. So, oh, look at this. There's a little, oh, this is going to be a treat right here. A little guide. And here it is. Oh, wait, that's a tape measure. Oh, here is the Turbo Launcher Series 3. Ooh, it's got a little stain from being sitting on the card all this time. So this is the launching mechanism, the button. And what you would do, you just lay these inside here. You have to pull the trigger so it sets in there. Uh, and so you don't crank it like the old one where you'd put the spin fighter inside like that. You'd have to put the button so it would go in. You had to manually crank it. Uh, this one's a little different actually. Uh, it has this crank here and you just twist that. So you hear that louder click, you turn it away from the trigger. The other way it's not going to do anything. So this is loaded and ready. And we'll test out how much better the turbo launcher is. Whoa! Against the other one. I didn't know there was a little booklet inside there. I always liked these little, uh, you know, the old search. You couldn't just search Google back in the day. You could, uh... You had to just get the card backings, always kind of save the cards of, of toys and things. And once in a while they'd come with a little fold-out or a book showing some products. So, all right. This is kind of some bonus uh, Spin Fighter merchandise for me is the whole printout of... This looks like it's possible it's every single one. I'm trying to see if I see one missing. Of course, this one I freaking tore like a fool, so I might have to carefully open another one and try to get a good copy there. But, I mean, here this even has the guide of the kind of exclusive ones like the Ultra Zord and Zordon that only came with the arenas. You can kind of see there's more, because of the two extras, there's more of the good guy ones than the bad guy ones on the side. I think this might be every single one. And that's pretty interesting that the pictures are also just the real picture instead of the kind of disguised prismatic one that would be on the actual Spin Fighter. So that's kind of unique. Never got to really see the full photos like this. Yeah, I think this is every single one. Eventually I want to get a super awesome display for all these. So this is a nice little guy just to show uh, what kind of setup I'll need just to display them all. Little surprise bonus there. We've got the turbo launcher here. Again, different than this design. Allegedly it's more powerful. In Japan they had other ones like this. This is, you know, they would reuse these designs. I don't have any yet from Japan of this style. Hope to get one at some point. But of course this is just a sticker so I mean you just would have this design and they have different colors and shapes and things. I mean there's a pink Sailor Moon one and all sorts of different crazy ones. So what I do have though is the Japanese version of this turbo launcher. And then that says uh, Kabachi Shooter, or however you pronounce the way they say they're Spin Fighters. They don't call them Spin Fighters. They're Kirkdabach or Charkabati or something to the effect. And then two, I assume, just because this is the kind of redesigned launcher versus the, uh, the old flip one that they always use. So straight up, same one, even kind of the same coin concept. So that's why they were obviously going to go that route. Uh, all the triggers on all of them are black, just like this one. You can kind of see there's some red inside. Same with these, there's actually the red inside, probably because they all have the red uh, crank inside. Uh, this one has the prismatic uh, sticker on the inside, so I don't know why they didn't uh, slap one of those on there, but... Uh, so obviously it's the same mold, but this one says 1993, and then this came out in 1995. This is definitely the older, and they just 
like, hey, we can repurpose, you know, different color plastic, different design they had to make, which is interesting. I thought this was just a redo of the uh, coins from the Morpher, but this is just kind of an all-new printing of that. Yeah, this was a great little uh, piece I was able to get, was the Japanese of the Turbo Launcher, so you can really compare. Same gold buttons. This one's uh, used. This didn't come new in the package like this. this. is an absolute brand new one, so might be a little wear there on the gold, but there the button just kind of isn't closed off. It's just open like that. Pretty interesting. So we'll have to just try out how powerful the turbo launchers are compared to the original. So we'll get a time for the original launcher. We'll use one of the Series 3 Spin Fighters just as an example. So we'll do a full load. And we'll just see how long it lasts on its own. We'll just time that. And we'll just see uh, the kind of comparison with the Turbo Launcher. So. About 50 seconds lasted with just the standard launcher. So we will load up a turbo launcher, the brand new one. It's fully loaded. We'll just compare the time of the turbo launcher. The raw power exploded my communicator. Truly more phenomenal. So it did last about 26 or so seconds longer, but a lot of that was pretty weak spinning at the end, just lasting longer. Definitely shoots it out with a little more force that uh, if we were to have these in a versus, I'm sure the turbo launcher is gonna come out on top. Just a little bit more power out of the turbo launcher with the white ranger one versus the pink ranger one with the original launcher, so definitely going to give an advantage to any face off, although I'm sure a few times you could try it may well not quite work out. Uh, pretty unfair if it was a uh, original versus the turbo launcher situation. So. Just securing your uh, victory if you were buying the turbo model <laughs> and uh, facing off with all these not super more powerful than the original launcher, but clearly has a little more oomph, and I do like the mechanism of just loading it and then doing the crank here that's turning the insides versus you turning the spin fighter on the outside, so that's pretty nice. There you have the entire Series 3 of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Spin Fighters, the Turbo Launcher set. Based on, of course, the original Japanese design. The, this is just the generic one that worked with all the crazy lines that were in Japan. Like, for example, Super Mario Brothers, if you want to check those out. I have a video about those. Uh, it's kind of weird that they only did the four Rangers. And they never made a Red Ranger or Yellow Ranger one. I think they would look pretty awesome. A Red Ranger one, a red one with a T-Rex and a yellow launcher with a saber tooth tiger on it. Uh, if anybody is super serious about customizing toys and things, uh, might be able to find some extras. And you know, this is about the shape. You could use the mold from the Power Coin design. I think that would look pretty awesome. So who knows? We might might get a custom made just to finish the full Ranger set there. Definitely uh, didn't get these as a kid, but definitely probably would have picked up a Red Ranger launcher. That was always my favorite, the Red Ranger. So interesting that only these got made. Uh, because for Season 2, the Red, Yellow, and Black Ranger switched characters. So you'd think maybe it would be Red, Yellow, Black, and then the White Launcher, just for the sake of the newer Rangers versus the uh, original actors staying for the Blue Ranger and Pink Ranger, but not sure where they came up with their choices, or if maybe they were planning on doing every Ranger, I'm not sure. And of course, the strangeness with the White Ranger design. 
interesting tidbit just on the, the footage used and kind of showing the power coins on the shows. This poster was a nice bonus. I'll have to open up another one sometime. It'd be a nice little frameable uh, mini frame edition just for my quest of col collecting all these spin fighters. So very happy to add these four, helping complete my collection of the spin fighters. I have plenty more videos about collecting the spin fighters and different lines and all sorts of things. And whoop, I'm getting a call, so I guess that is all. Stick around for some more videos. I, I gotta take this. Oh guys, it's morphin' time. Tyrannosaurus! Oh. Oh you hate to see that. Oh, that don't sound good. Oh no. Oh, oh, that's just sad. Oh boy. Just no power.